Boo! <laughs> oh god, I look even more weird when I smile, don't I? Crazy day! Crazy facial day! Woo! It's a crazy facial day! Yeah! Yeah, yeah, yeah! Alright. I'm nuts. I'm going to do a face mask with you. I have chosen this one. I got this off of Amazon. Uh, it was like... 12 18 dollars oh gosh i wish i had the price on me i don't actually know i will look it up and i will try to drop the price someplace on the screen maybe there maybe there maybe down there uh, yeah, i don't know you'll see it when it shows up anyway so this is the face mask that i'm going to try it is the Eliza Vecca Milky Piggy Carbonated Bubble Clay Mask. And it's got this cute little pig on the front. I love that. That little, little cute little pig there with the mask on. And it's supposed to, like, you put it on your face and it, like, foams up. So I'm going to do that. Oh, cute. It's got a little bunny there, too. I like that. Um, it is Korean. And this is an original because it's got this lovely little... So this is how you know that you got a, a real one. It's got this lovely little seal here. And I'm just going to scrape it off. And underneath, I have the serial code. So I know this is a real one because it has this seal on it. And it's the Cosmetic System original checking number. So if I had any questions about it, there's a little QR code here. I can scan the QR code. And there's also a nice uh, telephone number. It's not... You know, it's, it's obviously probably a Korean one because the number is weird. Um, and the directions in here on here are pretty much all in Korean except for this one side. And this one side says, take proper amount of carbonated bubble mask, clay mask, to your whole face except around eyes. After three, three to five minutes, when the bubble's blown up absolutely, do foam massage with a little tepid water and wash away. So, I'm going to see what it's like. I've, I've heard, uh, I've read a lot of reviews. A lot of people were like, this stuff is amazing. Other people were like, mm, I don't know. Some people were like, it was already foaming in the container. Um, but there's also comments about how, you know, if you put your fingers in there, you're contaminating it and it's going to start to foam because it works with the oils on your skin. So, I bought a brush. This is also by Elizaveca. It is a beauty brush. It is a mask brush. And I haven't opened this yet. I haven't opened either one of these yet. And we'll see what this looks like. And this was like $10. Oh, it's really quite nice. Let me get it out of packaging. It comes plastic wrapped. And it also comes in a, a little plastic sleeve that can protect the brush. So, you can use that to protect to protect the brush. That's quite nice, actually. And you just slide it off. It's got uh, stiffer bristles, and they feel like they're nylon, um, but they're still they're still pretty soft, and they're pretty flippy. So that's that's not bad. Um, and this is basically you take it on the brush and use this to put it on your face instead. And we're going to open up this bask and s the bask. We're going to open up this bask. We're going to open up the box and see what the, what the mask looks like inside. I know it's in a jar. Oh, it's cute. It's got all sorts of little bunnies on the inside too. All right. This is, it's got a nice expiration date right there on the bottom. It says, the top one, I read about this, the top one is the date when it was produced, and the bottom one is the date when it expires. So this was produced on 2016, 12-29, which is uh, December 29th, and it, it expires on in 2019 on 12-29. So it looks like it has a three-year shelf life unopened. Opened, I'm not so sure. You'd, you'd really have to keep an eye on it and see 
how it goes and, and what happens with it. The container itself has no English on it whatsoever. It says it is a carbonic acid in clay pack. I don't know what carbonic acid is. This could be wonderful or it could be horrible. Um, but it looks it looks nice. It's a nice heavy jar. The packaging is really nice. It's sealed with plastic, so I can tell it hasn't been tampered with, which is always good. Let me open that up. I like I like things to not be tampered with, especially if they're going on my face. And let's see, we'll open this up and we'll see. Oh! And it comes with a little spoon thing to scoop it out with. That's nice. It smells nice. It's a little bit messy in the cap itself, but that could just be settling when it was in transport. And, come on. Come on. Oh. Ooh, it's sticky. Oh my. It looks like gray paste. It looks like putty that you would use to put on uh, wood or grout. If you guys know anything about tiling. I've, I watch a lot of those home improvement shows, so... I tend to be aware of these kind of things. But yeah. And it's kind of jello like. Kind of goopy. Alright. So I'm going to make sure my hair is back. And I'm going to move this out of the way. I'm going to put down a cloth so I don't get it all over the table. And it says to leave it on for three to five minutes. So we'll see. I'm not having any of that problem where people are saying it's foaming in the jar already, so that's good. I'm going to keep this cover so it'll stay nice and clear or sealed. I'm just going to put that over here so it's out of the way. I don't know that I'm going to use this little spatula it comes with. I mean, that's a very nice idea, but I think I will just go in with my brush. Uh which is also recommended and just go ahead and put it on my face but first I need a headband now let's see how does this smell smells very fresh and spa like it doesn't smell overpowering it's a very light scent to it so let's see how this goes let's see how this goes here Ugh. This does not look pleasant at all. Oh, it's cold. The brush does a good job, though. Might use this with other things. Got a couple other foaming masks I use, that I use, too. So this might be convenient for that, too. And this is nice because it has a bit more precision on it. It's already starting to foam in areas.
All right. It also says, I read on the thing, yeah, it's starting to foam up just a little bit inside from being touched with the brush. But, uh... And it's definitely foamed up on the brush. You can see that. It's all light, pale gray now. And you can see the color has changed on my face, too. So I'm actually going to use this little spatula and try to scrape out this little bit here that I've contaminated. Wow. Yeah, look at this brush. Get it all off. And you can see... See how that just foams right up? And you can hear it. It sounds sort of like a little sizzling, almost like... Like if you hear... You've got tub... Uh, you're in a tub a bubble bath and all the bubbles start to break that little sound <laughs> I'll just file my nails while I wait what do you do while you wait for a, a face mask is there something special that you do Oh, I don't know. I usually don't. I usually use the the paper peel off paper masks, you know. But this is a uh, a bit different. Wow, it's really really fluffing up, isn't it? Look at that. Can you see? You can see my skin. Can you see the how far it is, like out here? <laughs> Ah, they're going up my nose. Oh, I just inhaled some. Ah. Oh, I don't know. It's probably almost time. I haven't really been keeping count. Let's see how far that's from earlier. Like that. So. I don't think it can really puff up any bigger than this. It, I think it's pretty much done. So I'm going to go wash my face. And I'm probably going to jump in the shower too. Since I need to wash my hair and the rest of me. And um, I will be back to tell you what I feel about this whole experience. In just a little while. Okay, I'm back. As you can see, I'm no longer clay face. My skin feels good. It's very smooth. Uh, it feels a little dry, so I'm definitely going to have to put on some moisturizer. Um, it feels like it's definitely deep clean because I had some low-lying acne right here. You can probably see the dots that feel like they've risen up to the surface, so it may be pulling those impurities out. So I'll put some acne med on that. But my skin feels soft. My pores don't look huge. They look relatively minimized. And my skin does feel kind of dry. So I think with a good moisturizer under it, um, it's actually not bad. It was kind of fun. To use a fluffy bubble mask, by the time I got into the shower, it had, like, risen, like, another quarter inch. I mean, it was, like, starting to, like, it was like my nose was huge. It was like, it does foam for quite a while, and you really want to be careful around your mouth and nose, because if you get it too close to your nose, you'll actually inhale it up your nostrils. So I would suggest putting it here and maybe skip your upper lip. I put some on my upper lip. But, yeah, I mean... It's nice. It was fun. It was a fun little thing. And I I think I will definitely try it again. And I will give it another shot and I will see what my opinions are. Maybe like once every few weeks since it is so drying to get rid of all the extra things that are in my skin. 
um, and maybe do some deep cleansing to get it out. And the brush that I bought, I really like. It ended up working really well. It was super easy to clean. Um, you can get them on Amazon, relatively inexpensive. I think it was only like 10 bucks. Um, and it is by Eliza Vecca. Same brand that does the Milky Piggy. I have a feeling I'll be using this again with other masks. It was definitely worth the money. I have some that are peel-off masks that I'll be using it for. And there's an e.l.f. one that also bubbles that I like to use. And I'll probably use that for the, this for that as well. Um, it saves it getting all over your hands and contaminating your mask product. So to, so I've just rinsed this out. I didn't wash it with anything. I just rinsed it under really hot water. And now I'm just going to lay it flat to dry or hang it upside down so that the ferrule doesn't get damaged and the glue doesn't get ruined. So definitely worth the money. Even if I hadn't liked the mask, I would have definitely liked the brush. If you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. If you want to see me do more crazy mask videos, give me a thumbs up. I'm going to actually do some homemade ones. There's one that's like uses honey and turmeric and lemon juice. It's supposed to lighten spots and I've got some spots here that are sun scars and acne scars and down here and here and along here. So, you know, here, a few of them. I never really had bad acne until I became an adult. Figured that one out. So I will do that one. There's another one that's like a super scrub that uses like coffee grinds and egg white and lemon juice or honey or something. And I might do one of those. That sounds like fun. So I'm going to be doing a lot of mix of masks I buy at the store or receive via gifts or purchases and also some homemade ones that I dig up online. So if you have a good recipe for a homemade mask that you use or if there's a type of mask that you've seen on Amazon or Facebook or wherever that you've always been curious about, if it's in my budget, I will buy it and I will try it and we will have fun watching me try it together. Until the next time, again, my name is Steph. Please subscribe and give me a thumbs up. And tell your friends. And have a wonderful day. Enjoy your night.